Hello everyone, welcome to Web Plus Academy for Civil Services. It's a video on daily news and editorial analysis, which I'll be covering from the Hindu and Indian Express. The most important news and editorial of the day that is relevant for both prelims and mains examination of civil services will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with the news topic list. Today is 8th of October. The first important news that is panel to study scheduled caste status of the Dalit post conversion. We'll see the formulation of the panel by the government. Second, India UK free trade pact may miss the deadline which was scheduled for the month of October. Third, basically, this is regarding the World Bank president that will list the priorities for India G20 presidency. Fourth, India called for guarantee of the human right to Uyghurs. And the last is an editorial that is people in the poor place. Apart from the news and editorial discussion, at the end of this video, there will be MCQ based questions and these questions will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming prelims examination. So without any further delay, let's get started. And before I start the session, those of you who are new to our channel, do subscribe to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do not forget to press a like button. So starting the session with the first news that is panel to study scheduled caste status of Dalit post conversion. Something important for general studies paper 2 under the topic welfare schemes for the vulnerable section of the population by the center and the state government. So recently the union government has formulated a three member committee to inquire that will be headed by the former chief justice of India that is KG Balakrishnan. And this committee, the three member committee will be looking into the examination, whether the scheduled caste, that is the SC status can be accorded to the Dalit who have over the years converted the religious other than Sikh or Buddhism. So, kya aise log jinnun apne religious convert ki hai, waise logo ko SC ki status di ja sakti hai, iski puri study kari ki, ye three members ki group. Now, under article 341 of the Indian Constitution, the President has the power to identify race, tribe, caste and other group that could be considered as a scheduled caste and scheduled tribe. Right? Now, background ki agar baat kare, before this inception of the decision that government has come up with, iske background mein agar dekhe, the progress come follow the hearing in the Supreme Court in August where Solicitor General has promised to submit a stand of the government within three weeks on the possibilities of extending the reservations to the Dalit convert to the Islam and Christianity. Right? Already, government of India ka represent karte hai, solicitor general of India jo hai, unne ye remarks di thi, the government apni stand ko clear kare. Now the court was hearing a bunch of petition that asked of the delinking of the caste reservation on the religious. And India constitutionally mandate that 15% of the reservation for SC in government jobs as well as in the educational institutions. Now in 2004, what has happened that government has also set up a committee which was headed by the former Chief Justice of India, Ranganath Mishra, to explore the issues of granting SC status to the religious communities other than Hindu, Sikh and Buddhist. So, this is the first time the effort was made earlier. But the point uh, is that when the submission was made by the committee in 2007, the recommendation that was there by the committee was not accepted by the government. So, this report was secretly maintained ki gai and it was not accepted by the government. Now, what is the task of this new committee that was recently formed by the government? So, the commission will examine the matter in the line of the presidential order from time to time to under article 341 of the Indian constitution and the commission will also look into the implications of the reservation in the existing scheduled caste community right uski kya impact hogi abhi ke jo existing scheduled caste community hai uske upar and even how it is going to uh, how it is actually impacting for the employment right and also for the educational institutions right now other part that has to be look upon the committee to understand whether the discrimination go on even after the conversion. Post conversion, kya, fir bhi aisi problems hai, jo exist karti hai. 
The panel will examine the challenges in the custom traditions and the status of the social deprived post conversion. So this is a main issue about the social deprivation that still emerged. It has been argued that the population, the beneficiaries population is not actually benefited. Now current provisions ki agar baat kare, and even for the constitutional provision as well. So currently the constitution scheduled caste order 1950 provide only those belong to Hindu just this to keep you in mind. Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist communities can be characterized as scheduled caste group. Now, when enacted, the order only allowed the Hindu communities to be classified as a SC based on their social disability and discrimination they faced due to untouchability. This untouchability was much prevalent way back. Right now, to some extent in the urban area, this is no more prevalent. But for the rural area, this is a still a reality. Now, it was amended in 1956 to include six communities in, again in 1990, uh, including of Buddhist into the Sikh community took place. So this is how the two important communities were the part of the scheduled caste. Now, there's a dedicated department that is the Department of Social Justice and Empowerment that the commission will inquire into look into the challenges of any person goes through the convergence to any other religions and implications on the question including them in the shiduka. So this current provision will definitely help even for the commission that was established, a three member commission will look into important aspects like jo abhi benefits hai, uske kya advantages hai, or government jo future mein benefits denge, how they are going to impact the society to the larger extent. Now what we have discussed, this is like we can summarize here, what does the law say is 1950 the law provides for only Hindus, those belonging to Hindu, Christian, Buddhist communities to be categorized as scheduled caste. I have discussed this. Now, if we talk about how were the Buddhist and uh, Sikhs were included, so the Khelkar panel ke report came out, recommendations came The you know, High Powered Committee was also there in 1983, which ordered for the inclusion, right? And the current argument I have told you. Three member committee, which is headed by X. CGI that is the Chief Justice of India KG Balakrishna. So this name jo hai kafi important hai. this is important for many other government examination and for the prelims as well. Now India UK Free Trade Pact may miss the deadline something important for gender studies paper too under the topic bilateral regional grouping and agreement involving India and affecting India's interest. So India and UK are likely to reach the deadline of free trade agreement in October. It was supposed to meet the deadline, but it is unlikely this deadline will meet because there are a lot more formalities that has to be done. And both government is not looking, basically the situation currently is not such that October may sari ji finalize ho pa, right? A target, a free trade agreement was actually set by the former Prime Minister of United Kingdom, Boris Johnson, who has signed this agreement. Ko sign kiya so the Prime Minister of United Kingdom, Boris Johnson, when he visited in India in April, they have said that both countries will look forward for a wrap up of the free trade agreement. And Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson has said that both sides were interested in concluding the free trade agreement at the earliest. But still, the deadline, which was again said for the October, is supposed not to be there for this particular month. It will extend it by a month or so. Now the government is committed to work with the government of UK to facilitate the return of Indian students who have overstayed their period of visa in the United Kingdom. Now trade deal ki agar baat kare, trade deal between the UK and India has a huge potential deepening our already a strong relationship that is close to 24.3 billion a year that will benefit business and sector across both the countries. So mutually benefit will also be there in terms of the treaty. Now there is a partnership called Migration and Mobility Partnership. This is very important for mains examination as well as well as for the prelims. This is MMP. This is Migration and Mobility Partnership important for prelims as well as for the mains examination. Right. So this partnership which is going to be the part of free trade agreement the United Kingdom has agreed to create a new scheme on the youth mobility. So youth mobility clear hai or is scheme ke andar, every year across the country, 3000 
young Indian professional can avail employment in the UK for two years without being subject to the labor market test, which is there in the United Kingdom. Now, the number can be expanded further and India will take back the illegal migrant return. And India has already piped China as a country that has received the highest number of student visa by UK and about 1,18,000 Indian students received the UK visa this year. In June, this is 89% from the previous year. Now, the other news, that is the World Bank President lists priorities for India G20 presidency. India is about to take the G20 presidency this year end, and it will continue to be the president till next year. Important for gender studies paper too, that is the important international institution agencies, their structure and mandate. So according to the World Bank president, there's a three important areas where India need to look upon and focus their priorities when India will take the G20 presidentship this December, which will continue for November 2023, right? So this is a point that you can take a note of. The three area that was highlighted by the World Bank president, which include the debt, sustainability, education and climate action. So these are the three important areas that was prioritized or highlighted by the basically by the World Bank president. Now the World Bank president point out that India's involvement in restructuring the Sri Lanka debt and it's being the major credited to the African nations call for countries leader in education. So India has already proactively many countries ko help ki hai, chahe wo vaccines ke through ho, education ke through ya fir financial aid ki through. Now concern over the education of poverty, the World Bank president said that there is a very uh, high concern with regards to the educational poverty that is emerging across the globe and 70% of the children in the developing countries are unable to read the basic text and India could be the leader in the role of education. Talking precisely about India, we have recently launched the National Education Policy 2020 last year which has a lot more innovations, which has a lot more skilling, which give emphasis on the languages learning, uh, basically mother tongue languages mein ho ya fir, uh, uske homologous languages ho, unme bhi kaafi zada zor di gai, vocational learnings pe bhi kaafi zada dhyan diya gai. Now, even the backsliding in education caused by the COVID-19 is again a problem, including the children losing interest because they do not keep up their grade and decline in the educational spending are some of the important factor concerning the educational poverty. Now, kuch aur issues jin pe India ko uh, prioritize karni ke zarurat hai, dhyan deni ke zarurat hai. So, climate issues usme kaafi zyada relevant hai. Or climate issue ki baat kare, to do cheeze kaafi uh, evident hai, that is a climate financing and a clean energy transition. Now, in terms of climate financing, clear, strong and positive signal is needed to be given by the G20 in the COP26 Egypt later this year, honoring the very latest, that is for 2015 Paris Agreement and commitment that was made in the Glasgow. India has set the Panchamber target for many other target that was set and even for the net zero emission, which is set by 2070 by the Prime Minister of India. Now, clean energy transition ki baat kare, G20 will also ensure that IMF monitors the fiscal space impact, the decline in the fossil fuel revenues, the developing countries making the transition and help the equip with real benefits and opportunities that is created by the clean energy economy. Now moving to the other news, India call for guarantee for the human right to Uyghurs. Uh, this is something important for in the studies paper to effect of policies and politics of developed and developing countries. So in a proactive role or in a proactive stand towards the human right issues, as per the Uyghur populations, ki baat kare, Uyghurs, uh, they are basically called. These are the population, these are the minorities, the Muslim minorities, which is residing in the China's Zizang region, right? So here we have protections ki baat ki hai India, that populations ko protect karne ke hai, these are the vulnerable ones. Now for the first time, India has categorically stated about the respecting the human rights for the people who are residing in the Zizang provinces of China. Now, agar baat kare, you can see this is the region and the population which is, has the, uh, the Zizang provinces which has the population of Uyghur's population. And this is Beijing, uh, the capital. 
And this is a bracket that will give you an idea about the density of the population that is emerged in the region. Now, India ki kya stand rahi hai? India stand committed to uphold the human right. And India's vote in line with the long holding position that country specific relations never help, right? See, what has happened because this is an issue, a human right issue, India will be taking G20 presidency. So India wanted to ensure that agar kisi bhi tarah se human right ki violation hai, wo kisi countries ko, and even for China, we, we, we would have a retaliation that can take place, right? Now India favored dialogues to the most of the issues that there, and the draft was pushed by a group of comp uh, countries comprising Canada, Denmark, Finland, UK, US, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, these are the countries that the Uyghur population has in their support in their resolutions. Ki baat ki. Now, OHCR ki reports, ki mane, the Office of High Commission for the Human Rights, they have said that the human rights violation has been committed in the Ziyang provinces. This is Ziyang Uyghur Autonomous Region, XUARB, right? And the Chinese government application for the counter-terrorism and the counter-extremist strategies. Now, moving to the editorial of the day, that is the peoples in the poor place. This particular editorial is important for general studies paper too. That is effect of policies and politics of developed and developing countries on India's interest and India's diaspora. Now what I'll be discussing in this editorial talking about the theme, this call for income disparity and the governance challenge. So we'll be looking into the global wage differences, city ke kya expert hai, sectors, firm or skill ke se impact kar rahi hai, aur kis tarah se sari challenges ko, agenda ko address karne ki zarurat hai. Now first starting with the background, now we have seen in the Chile, the citizens have recently voted to reject the new constitution that was replaced the current one. This was a, uh, the limelight that was there in the news. And the new constitution has been held for enshrined rights for the women, free housing and a job in the government, uh, basically enterprises, indigenous group, nature, environment and water. This is what the new constitution called for safeguarding all these things. Now some 99% people have voted actually in September, 62% of them has rejected it and 38% has favored the new constitution. Now, voting in this referendum was mandatory and this was to ensure whether the country is looking for constitutions or not. But what are the advantages and disadvantages that also need to be taken into consideration. Now, uh, basically, this whole editorial mein global wage difference ki baat ki gai hai, ki example ki pe gai. Suppose uh, there are no poor people and only people in the poor place. Koi bhi insaan poor tab hota hai, tab poor puri poor jagah pe reh raha ho wahan pe jahan pe uske paas livelihood ki opportunity nahi hai tabhi wo poor kehlayega ek example ke taur pe an electrician moving from kanpur to bangalore suppose an electrician who reside who is a native to kanpur or uttar pradesh he is move out is moving out to bangalore to get three time more salary to yahan pe iski salary jo hai jahan jo usko kanpur mein mil rahi thi uske three times zyada salary usko milegi now suppose this individual moves to switzerland he will get 20 times more salary. What is the difference? There is a difference in the place which call for a more parity, which call for more wage differences. Now the higher salary reflects the higher productivity of the electrician customers. Suppose the example I have told you, the contributions of India ke GDP pe hogi would be more than China, Switzerland and this is how it, it is going to impact the overall economy. Now, the paper that was placed by the premium by the Harvard economist Lantus Pitcher suggests that suggest wage difference for identical worker are the policy induced price distorted. Or the differences are different in every place. If state, ki, cities, ki, sectors, ki, firm, ki, scale, ki, is accordingly a difference. So, I will tell you that you will tell me 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 that you will tell then the Odisha, which is four times that of the JK. So, you can see that across India, every city may be differences report. Ki jati hai. The framework of the constitution has envisaged three pillars of governance that is, the prime minister, chief minister, and the DM. But this is no longer, no longer valid because the functioning of the district magistrate has uh, basically it has a huge power, but the level of implementation in some states are not that good. 
so this office was supposed to be most powerful office has not you know, basically come to a extent where it could have proved its originality the cities are blunt that the bad urbanizations that create a divergent opinion about the nominal wages and the real wages is attracting a high paying jobs now digitalize ki agar baat kare a set of 12 mer target for the paperless cash of the citizen interface will leverage india's unique stake of digital public goods so we need to come with a digitalization process where everything is made paperless sectors ki agar baat kare software as an oasis of the high firm productivity where 0 to 8 percent labor force are there that is generating 8 percent of the gdp एग्रीकल्चर की बात करें 42 परसेंट ऑफ द जी डी पी टू आर वर्क फोर्स दैट जनरेट ओनली सिक्सटीन परसेंट टू द जी डी पी इंडिया रैक वन थर्टी एट पर कटाई जी डी पी टू द कंट्री एंड चाइना हैज अ पर कैपिटल ऑफ एटी टाइम्स दैट इन द फोर्टी ईयर ऑफ सेवन हंड्रेड मिलियन पीपल्स ओवर दाइट दिस इज फॉर द नॉन फार्म एम्प्लॉयमेंट ना द स्टेट्स दैट इंक्रीज द मैनुफैक्चरिंग एंड द सर्विस जॉब्स वेर मूव हाई पेइंग जॉब्स एंड इवन टू हेल्प द फार्मर्स टू हैव फ्यूअर ऑफ द फर्म्स की अगर बात करें इन प्री 1991 द फर्म अनफेयर लेबर मार्केट हैज एडवांटेजेस ऑफ द मल्टी नेशनल लॉन्गर एग्जिस्ट फर्म दैट हैज रेज द गेम बट द प्रॉब्लम परसिस्टेंट पर 6.3 करोड़ एंटरप्राइजेस ओनली ट्रांसलेट टू 2300 23500 कंपनीज विद अ पेड अप कैपिटल ऑफ 100 10 करोड़ सो सिर्फ 6.3 करोड़ जो टोटल एंटरप्राइजेस हैं उसमें सिर्फ 23000 कंपनीज ऐसी हैं जो कि ट्रांसलेट हो पर आई हैं कंपनीज के ऊपर दे हैव बीन कन्वर्टेड इनटू कंपनीज और उनकी जो पेड अप कैपिटल है दैट इज ओनली टेन करोड़ व्हिच इज अगेन लेस अमाउंट नदर स्टेट दैट रिप्लेस डील्स विद द रूल बाय रिड्यूसिंग द रेगुलेटरी कोलेस्ट्रॉल विल अट्रैक्ट द हाई पेइंग जॉब्स स्किल्स की अगर बात करें स्किल काफी ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है देयर मेनी रीजंस टू दैट सपोज एन एग्जांपल लाइक दैट द क्रिकेटर्स प्ले हैव अ 100 टाइम्स हायर लाइफ टाइम अर्निंग दैन द हॉकी प्लेयर तो एक एग्जाम्पल के तौर पर द वेज डिफरेंस इज बिटवीन द गुड एंड लग्जरी इलेक्ट्रिकल आइटम्स इज फाइव टाइम हायर द इम्पोजिशन ऑफ द प्रिडिक्ट वेज प्रीमियम बट द ग्रेड ट्वेल्व इज अगेन विद द ग्रेड न्यू एट तो ये कुछ एग्जाम्पल के तौर पर अलग अलग चीज़ें बताई गई हैं इंग्लिश फ्लुएंसी विल आई हैव अ विंडो दैट विल ऑपरेट सिस्टम एज अ वोकेशनल एंड वेज इज विद द हायर यूज ऑफ माइंड विद द मासल्स स्टेट विल हैव द पॉपुलेशन दैट विल रिसाइड इन द skill demand with more attracting and the high paying jobs definitely for each individual who is being trained educated in any engineering college any stream they look forward for a good and high paying jobs now addressing agenda ki agar baat kare kuch important areas highlight kiye gaye hain to pehle panch ministerial agenda jo hame sahi karne ki zarurat hai usme ek important aspect hai police reform ki that is a rule of law is experienced to pehle Empowered mayors. This petition uh, pertains to the devolutions of fund, functioning, and functionaries. We need to have a overall administrative restructuring so that the functioning took place at the right time. Fixed government school raising their 45 percent share for the enrollment. So, जो enrollment है वो minimum कम से कम 50 45 percent होनी चाहिए. Agriculture reform की अगर बात करें, price and distribution is an important component. Fixing the minimum floor and the minimum prices for the msp basically minimum support price will be an important one which is affordable also a reliable public support kafi zyada zarurat hai that will help for the environment and the women new formalizations that the state government can generate 75% of india's 67000 plus compliances or 6700 plus filing even for the criminal procedures right the formalizations be kafi important hai so that the criminal justice system is working in the right direction now rational in hr and civil services do not push performance by the performing the bad performance to yahan pe hame hr ki jaisi provisions lane ki zarurat hai civil services mein jo ki bad performance ko outcast kar sake now the state government must also restore the policy that balance the combinations of poor people with translating with the poor places so this is how the things can work for the betterment and a new version of india Now moving to the MCQ questions of the day. Before I proceed, just to tell you the answers of yesterday questions. The first question, the correct option is B. The second question, the correct option is B again. Today's MCQ for practice. I have to tell you about olive riddle turtle. These turtles are carnivores, 
and the Odisha Garimatha Marine Sanctuary is known to be the world largest rookery of the sea turtle. So do check it out for the correct options. Second is the National Urban Mission, Digital Mission. The Minister of Communication has launched this mission and it will create a shared infrastructure for urban India working across three pillars that is the process, platform and provide for holistic support to the cities and town. So do check it out for the correct option. This type of questions on policies and other current affairs will definitely help you for the upcoming prelims examination. This was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis followed by the MCQ questions. If you have any other concern, you can let me know. I'll be more than happy to assist you. For time being, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching this video.